This was my first e-bike. It was 52 volts with a 12 amp hour battery, a 45 amp controller, a cheap 1500 watt hub motor from AliExpress, and it put out about two kilowatts. Later, I upgraded the bike to a 20 amp hour battery, a 60 amp controller, a 5000 watt crow motor, and at that point, it put out three kilowatts. But then I had an idea. What if I were to take six LiPo battery packs to make a 24S 100 volt battery, an enormous Yu Yang King controller that puts out 150 amps, that would give me a 15 kilowatt bicycle that would go, I don't know how fast. I figured the battery pack would be pretty bulky, so I custom designed some 3D printed parts to attach to the frame and fit around the battery pack. There would be a piece that attaches to the down tube part of the frame to hold the majority of the weight of the battery pack. Then there would be another piece that attaches to the vertical part of the frame that would hold the end and keep it from sliding backwards. I also designed some slots in the down tube bracket to allow me to pass Velcro straps through them and wrap it around the battery pack. That would keep it planted down and also keep it from moving side to side. The controller would be attached to the bottom of the down tube using brackets, but I designed those brackets to be able to sandwich with that top down tube bracket so that each one would be attached to the frame and to each other. The bottom part of the controller bracket also has places for zip ties to wrap those around the down tube. Everything would basically sit like this. This leaves an open area in that bottom corner of the frame and I figured I would use that to hold all of the wires in place. The wiring box has a lid that opens downwards for easy access and there are places for magnets so that it closes magnetically. There are also anchors on the bottom of the wiring box through which I can pass zip ties to hold all of the wires. Now it's time to 3D print all the parts and put everything together. Okay, so some of you might be thinking, um, you idiot, you can't put a 15,000 watt system on an aluminum frame. Those dropouts are going to strip faster than an aspiring actress on OnlyFans. And to that I say, what your mom does is none of my business. But also, I took that into account. I took a mold of the dropouts using epoxy putty. Then I used the mold to design and 3D print some spacers that fit exactly against the inner surface of the dropouts. Then I had the People's Republic of China CNC those spacers from steel. They fit perfectly and made contact with the dropouts on multiple planes, making them extremely strong. Then I bonded the spacers to the dropouts using epoxy. I also added additional torque arms I probably don't do anything so now the weak point here is the aluminum frame itself here is the bike being charged I just have the charger connected here to the charge port on the wiring box and that's connected to a 1500 watt server power supply and a step-up converter that's charging the bike at 100.8 volts all right now we're riding the this ridiculous 60 mile an hour bicycle and the acceleration on this is really good to be a little careful because it is an aluminum frame even though I have those dropouts 
there, I still don't want to stress the frame any more than I have to. Right now, I'm about 43 miles an hour, I didn't even realize. It. It's a little windy out, that's not great if I wanted to do a full test run. And of course, this is a bicycle, right? These parts are not meant for high-speed travel. There's, this is a hardtail frame, so there's basically no suspension except in the front. But, so I am doing 50. It's like nothing. Sorry, I can feel the front end wanting to come up. I don't know if I want to go too much about 50. All right, again, that's 50 miles an hour. I'm afraid to take this above 50. It just gets too sketchy. Maybe if I had like a full track suit, then I'd be more willing to kind of push this thing, but it definitely has a lot more, even at 50 miles an hour. speed on this bike is 60 miles an hour it's got to be uh, because I feel that I'm kind of coming up to the end of the acceleration at whatever that was 56 but if I had more road and more reckless abandonment of my safety I think I can hit 60 miles an hour on this thing so let's do a little bit of acceleration here although this is also uphill but whatever I was afraid to really pin the throttle right away, so I kind of gradually accelerated. I wasn't looking, I don't know what we got up to there. Try again real quick from 20. I mean, this front wheel just wants to come up. It is kind of a nice ride. It doesn't feel so insane. It's really when you get into the 50s that it starts to feel kind of sketchy. All right, and that is this ridiculous, almost 60 mile an hour, 15,000 watts bicycle. I actually added a key switch for the throttle. I also added a three speed switch that has a low power and medium power mode, which makes it a lot more practical. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Uh, please like and subscribe and I'll have more videos up soon.